Hello everyone, today we're going to be making hydrogen. And how are we going to make hydrogen is we're going to like call this some salt to make um, lye or sodium hydroxide. And then we're going to react the sodium hydroxide with some aluminium. I'm just going to use some foil. And uh, hopefully that will create a... Uh, reaction and we'll get hydrogen and we'll know if we're getting hydrogen if it bubbles that would be after we turn electrolysis okay so we need to first take off this guy and as you can see I just have a little trellis thing so we're going to take some salt this is iodized it doesn't need to be iodized probably help if it wasn't iodized, but, uh, yeah, we're still using it. Should be enough. Guy, so we're going to use all of the 250 here. Okay. Let's pour that in. Pour it in so the uh, salt dissolves quickly. Actually, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, and then just uh, get a stirring rod. I'm just going to use a pipette because all my stirring rods are currently being used. Just stir. Try and get as much salt dissolved into the water. And I actually probably need to add a lot more water. So I'm just going to fill it up to about here. Still, I can almost see through it. That should be good enough anyway. Okay. Now we put in our copper electrodes. I'm using copper because it's easy to use. Okay. Let's get it in here. Make sure you want to have a good seal. seal. Now you can actually start to see through it. Because some of the salt has gone back, oh, gone into the solution. So we're going to make our little bubbler like this. As you can hopefully see right here, we have our bubbler. Um, I'm just using a 6 volt lantern battery. Uh, you don't need to do that. It's just I have a potential of losing power. And, uh, I just realized I like the bubble is a little bit too big. Shoot. I'll uh, fix that right now, actually. Alright, so uh, I cut the hose and uh, uh, it 
it's much shorter now. And so we should um, pretty soon start to see bubbles. So you can bubbles on the positive side. bubbles yet. As you can see, it's starting to uh, go up. Yeah, so every time some gas is being produced, um, you know, the gas is also being nowhere else to go except for eventually it should like right around it should start to lower in the bubbles I just did a time lapse of a lot of that. Um, it will be at the end of the video. And um, so let's. It's currently um, 12:49, and we started 11:20. So it's been a while. The battery is hot, and uh, I don't think we actually produced any uh, gases, but that's actually what I expected. Um, so let's take this lid off. No, actually, we should put some gloves on. Keep uh, the safety people happy. They like when people wear gloves around Y or something. And uh, let's wear these. Put them on. There you go. Now, lie isn't that dangerous, it's just you just don't want it to get by your skin as a salt, or really, you don't want it to go into your skin at all, really, ever. Okay, so let's take off this layer. You can see the uh, copper. It's not very shiny. It's still orange, but it's not as shiny as it was any as it was at the beginning. So, as you can probably tell, we have to filter it. And uh, I'm just going to slowly do this with the pipette. And actually, before we do that pipette, let's because when you always have a filter, you always want to water it first. So this is just water. Uh, I'll get back to you when it's uh, all filtered. Okay, so we have finished the uh, process. And uh, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into my reaction vessel, which has a bicycle, an old bicycle tube as of my hose. And it's going to go into the bubbler. set up and uh, let's pour in this wait no we need
need more water in the bubbler. Add some water. Okay. Get some water and let's put it in. we want the water to be, I mean the uh, hose to be below the line so we know, the line of water so we know when it is, um, when the hydrogen is being produced. Now it won't be the same effect as a carbon uh, monoxide, I think, um, generator. And uh, you can see one of those over on Tom's lab. Just look at uh, uh, Tom's lab, and uh, you'll find it. It's a recent video of his. It makes good content. Okay, so we're almost done with this process. That should be good. bubble around. Now let's quickly add sodium hydroxide. I see an immediate problem already because the bicycle Hydroxide isn't that strong. So I don't expect it to do much. It's only about uh, about 3% hydrogen peroxide, I mean uh, sodium hydroxide. So I, I really won't expect a reaction. Um, there's some bubbles right there. So, so it is working, it's just uh, very diluted, and I'll need to concentrate it if I want to do that. But currently, I just don't have enough time to concentrate it. You can obviously just take lye and, you know, do the same reaction. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as some reactions, but you can still get the reaction done. If you're going to do it, do what I did with the uh, aluminium is I broke it down so it has as much surface area to contact the sodium hydroxide is, so you have a better reaction. And um, I think that's going to do that's all we're going to do today. Um, so yeah, the time lapse will be at the end of the video. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. But I also want to show you what happened to these electrodes. So as you can see, they did appear to oxidize. Yeah, if I rub it, it looks the same. So yeah, they did oxidize, um, which actually makes sense. Because here's the remnants of uh, the filtration. So it's very, very green. It, it actually had a darker green, but it mixed with some of the sodium hydroxide in this. Um, so yeah, actually, let's boil this amount down uh, and see what we get. So. Hydrogen! Woo! And it's been a short enough time where it wouldn't just be uh, the oxygen bubbling up. 
so that's good. And uh, I did uh, miss a bubble, but yeah, it's uh, quite happy about it. So I'm going to leave this, maybe for a day or two. I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. Thank you. Thanks.